He bowls to the left, he bowls to the right. Mitchell Johnson, his bowling is shite. Look at that. I mean, mostly leg sided, to be perfectly honest. But a few offside shots as well there. Nothing really through the covers, it's probably my weakness. Don't really want to drive down that area there because um, I'm not good at it. <laughs> This time I'll take it on, just to get a couple, a couple of runs. What else can we break? Can we beat? No, I'm not, I'm not thinking that far ahead. Not thinking that far ahead. Well, this is what they did to us, wasn't it? Isn't this what they did in that match? Was McCullum just went out and smashed runs and then they sort of won the match because they were so far ahead at the start and... Australia was too busy trying to get themselves in on the pitch, but they could never do it because they were batting too slow, and so they'd get out really quickly. Oh. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> I was too busy ball watching there. Didn't actually pay attention to whether or not it was actually going to hit the rope. Hmm. Down the ground. They tempt me, don't they? No. Bang. Just a single. Like, I'm not going to have to... I'm not going to keep my ridiculous scoring rate up, I don't think. What's my highest score? My highest score ever, not in this career mode, was 367. And that was in a different career mode. That was in my first career mode. That was season one of career mode. Or season one of the batting career mode, I think. Because I did a batting and a bowling career mode, I did both of them. Uh, but really, yeah, it's just been one of those ones. It's not going to reach the rope. That's pretty poorly timed. So we've sort of had a little bit of uh, a lull here, I feel. Because we haven't, we haven't sort of dominated very much as of late. I mean, their bowling confidence is down. Our fatigue's probably up a little bit. I think that's probably what it is. Oh, no, it's not. So we can still probably time stuff better. That's the thing with the confidence, is it gives you more margin for error um, with your timing. Because you're playing with such confidence, you're bound to time most things pretty good. Oh, again. That's the second edge into the ground. It's so even that, like, that would have been out had I not had the confidence. Because it was just a really poor time shot. That's four. Or is it? No, it's not. I thought it was. No, just the two. Did he drop the catch? According to the man, he dropped the catch. We're going to have a look on the replay here. Just to see how... Did he hit the crack? Not quite. It's gone up. Oh... They put it down. Oh, I thought I was done there. I thought Bolt had me gone. For all money. You're just allowing free runs everywhere. That's four as well this time through the cover region. Is that the two that's the two hundred partnership from one hundred and forty seven. Warner's pretty happy. Big smile on his face. He's like, you just keep doing what you're doing, lad. That's exactly what I'm doing. 140 now. Against... They made it in the ashes, actually. The 156. So, we're on track to beat that as well. This is another huge over. Just... Every over, every boundary, it's just going for runs. And that's the problem with the New Zealand field, is that... Their field placements aren't stopping it. Thinking in the field placements, I don't think. I mean, they're all pretty... You know, shallow in... So I can hit, hit shots there. Look, there's a gap there, there's a gap there, there's a gap there. If I go on the offside, there's a gap there, there's a gap there, there's a gap there. I mean, they've probably got too many slips in. I'm not likely to edge the ball at this stage. But I am likely to make 150 runs, which is what I should pick up with this three here. I might even push for four. And we are going to push for four runs. Who would have thought, coming off the back of two 
average-ish innings, 150s, very pumped, raises the bat as high as he can in the air, 150, beautiful individual score, and hits a fourth and next ball as well. There's actually nothing they can do right now. I don't think that will stop me. Besides change the field. That's the only real thing they have to do. Is change the field. Because I could just hit the same couple of shots over and over and over again. And it's getting the same result. Oh dear. Billy Bowden's crooked fingers. Oh dear, oh dear. There's just... I don't know what to do. I'm just hitting runs for fun now. Are very average. And they just allow sort of runs everywhere. I mean, look, I can hit this shot pretty much every single ball and it goes to the rope. Oh dear, again. Just playing with confidence. Look, I, I should, uh... I could be worth two whole bloody wins in the series. Oh, it's in the air. The man is getting under it. And he'll take it. 181. Finally, I'm out. Yes, I knew I skied that ball. He's not... Oh, he's unhappy. He made 181. And he's unhappy. Mate, you've top-edged one, one ball. Look, let's have a look. So, a lot of confidence. Warner's going to go on, make a big score as well. Haddon and Johnson, then we declare, and then we start bowling really nicely. So, New Zealand are in all sorts. We made 550. And look at all the cracks. You'd be very watchful, McCullum. Be very watchful. You don't know what I'm capable of. Got a nice uh, little crack here in the pitch that I'm trying to work with. That's not where I want it. That's our ever gone. That crack is very dangerous. I don't know whether I should be bowling it. Oh, that's a that's a four. I mean, you've you've hit a nice shot there. I'll I'll take that. But I think I'm actually getting it very close to that crack. And if I can get it, oi, it will cause a few problems down the line for players like Anderson, especially Kane Williamson down the other end, because he's a right-hander, so... Yes! Got him! Look, it's just it's just causing problems. Whether or not it's going to hit the crack, you don't know. Is it going to hit the crack? Is it not going to hit the crack? But it's going to hit you out if you hit the ball in the air, and I can take it comfortably. Very good. Alright, we've got some right-handers to work with now on this deadly dangerous crack of ours. Oi, none of that. We're actually one, one wicket away from just blowing this game open. There it is. Bang, New Zealand following on now. So, they finished off the tail, and they ended up with the one wicket in the last one, but uh, they're now 301 behind early on in this Second innings, none for 52. We're going at about 5 and 0, which is a pretty good start, to be honest, for a test match. Um, so, if we can just cause them a little bit of trouble early on here, just with maybe a few short balls, a few fuller balls, a few slower balls, maybe just take the pace off the new ball early, can uh, just make them second guess. You see, batting pretty good. I mean, like pretty quickly, like there's 10 off that last over. That's out. That is so plum, it's not funny. <laughs> Boom! Bye bye. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Bye bye now. Does anyone remember that from like Toy Story 2? Where Barbie at the end of the movie, she's like, Bye bye. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Oh, oh, my cheeks are hurting. I mean, look at those short men in. Can I just get one to. Catch, catch. Yes. Wicket Maiden. New Zealand all out for 372. They lead by about 14 runs. And we are about to win this 
has to match. So Australia done very well. Taking three wickets and made about 153 runs, 181 runs in that, uh, and ended up with, you know, two for 27 in that second innings and was pretty good in our innings as well. Just uh, some pure class in the end is stepping through the gate here. We've got Rogers and Warner to come out here and just hit the final 20 runs. Can they get it done? They'll probably get it done in an over, to be honest. There's, uh, there's no runs. Australia here need four runs to win, I think, at this stage. And they're not going to get in it there. So three, one, three runs to win for Australia here. The target is 20. Rogers on strike just chases that ball a little bit outside the off stump, and we will get a single. So won't be too long. We should get it somewhat in the next over and actually pick up the win here. But New Zealand, they've won the series 2-1 is, uh, is how they're going to end up winning this one. Uh, it's a little disappointing for us. I thought, you know, we probably should have done better in the last innings. Could this be the match winning runs? Turn and go for two? No, it's just a single. But yeah, I think that uh, our test cricket has definitely improved. Um, we're averaging 19 for the series going into today's match. So 183, pretty good effort to bump that up. And is that a wide? It is a wide, and that is how you end the test match. Well, that's Australia getting the job done. None for 20 of 4.1 overs, and that's the end of the match. New Zealand, they won the series 2-1, as I've said. I am the man of the match. Yes. Uh, taking three wickets over the two innings that we made them follow on for, and 181 off 93, including the fastest test match 100 that we've ever done, that has ever happened. Um... And it was pretty realistic because I only got it by one ball. So, uh, very good stuff. Look at that. So many points. We've got like 10,000, 11,000, almost, almost, yeah, 12,000 points for that uh, match, which is crazy for just one single match. We now got one day as. Oh, I love one day as. One day as against the Kiwis. Coming right up.